How's it going everyone? So it is scribe hiring season. And what I mean by that, it's basically right after winter break. Um, it's usually a common time for people to start becoming scribes. And my what is a medical scribe video has been getting a little bit of attention. So I thought I'd make a video talking about my experiences uh, being a medical scribe. I did it for about two years and then, you know, and now I've gone into med school. I'm still a medical scribe until, until matriculation. But I just kind of want to talk about what it meant for me and why it was a huge part of me applying to and getting into med school. So I became a scribe in February 2018, January, Fe January, February 2018. And I did it because I was like, okay, I want to become a doctor. I need clinical experience. I don't know what to do. And so I had a friend who was a scribe who uh, was also pre-med. And so that's kind of how I knew about scribing. Most people know about scribing, especially if you're pre-med or you want to become a doctor. It's really, really common. Uh, one, because it's pretty easy to get into scribing and, you know, to get hired. Uh, and because it's pretty flexible with undergrad, you know, as a scribe, you can pick up a lot of hours. You can pick up very minimal hours. And, and that's what I did. So in t early 2018, I started scribing. I started scribing in the ER and I would work actually about two shifts a week. I only wanted about two shifts a week because I started scribing the same semester that I was taking OCHEM. And in that same semester I was taking physics and biomechanics and then, you know, a couple other classes. And so I wanted a really, I wanted a really light workload and it was awesome. I, I learned a lot. It was really hard. Anyone who gets into scribing or at least most people say that starting scribing is definitely the hardest part. Just, it's kind of like really, overwhelming i think is the right word there's a lot of medical terminology you're working with a doctor and so the gap in education is huge between a scribe and a doctor you know they've gone through obviously way more schooling they're where you want to be you want to be a doctor and so that was the hardest thing i think about getting into scribing is there was this huge education gap and most scribes just don't feel super competent at first even once you've done EMR training, once you've done, you know, the, the hospital training, it's it's really still intimidating. So I started out in the ER. It was awesome. You know, I don't know if emergency medicine's for me, but in terms of learning, I just learned so much and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then about a year into scribing at the ER, I was able to start scribing in psychiatry with this uh, awesome psychiatrist, really awesome guy. And it was just kind of like he wanted a scribe because he knew about ER scribes. And uh, I think he was like the only person outside the ER in the hospital that's getting a scribe. And it was awesome scribing for him. I do don't think psychiatry is for me either, but I really enjoyed it. I liked the different level of things. And that's the thing about scribing is like, you really only get to kind of pay attention to like the profession once you're kind of over the scribing part. Like, you know, no one's gonna sit there and say, man, my life goal is to be a scribe. I really enjoy scribing. I like, I like typing and I like, listening to people talk really fast and putting the information in the computer. You know, that's not our goal and the goal is to become a doctor. So it's kind of like a grind you do, it's a job you do. You know, you, you can get close with your providers and uh, if you work in like an emergency room or a hospital where there's a lot of other scribes, you can be surrounded by a lot of other pre-meds, which is a lot of what I liked about it. I like being surrounded by other people who were trying to do the same thing also. And there's a lot of motivation, a lot of sharing of resources, but like, you don't want to be a scribe like your whole life, right? And so you want to, it keeps you motivated to go to med school. And so I kept doing that. I was scribing between psych and the ER, getting awesome clinical experience, a lot of stuff to put on my application you know, building letters of recommendation, just medical terminology learning was the biggest part. Like looking back, like I feel like I know so much stuff and words that I just can't believe I didn't know them like just two years ago. One hard part for sure is sometimes you're, you're very focused on the scribing part and it's hard to make deeper connections between things. And you try and I, you know, you try to look things up but 
right now, I'm not gonna say I have a super deep level of understanding of a bunch of stuff. I definitely have a superficial understanding of things. Like I know terms, I know their meaning. You can kind of, you know, you get used to why things are ordered when they're ordered and, you know, patient workups and whatnot. But like, unless you're really actively doing research, you're not gonna get this huge deep level of understanding, but that's fine because we're not in med school yet. And so once we're in med school, I'm really excited to make those connections and to put things together. And so that's one of the greatest parts about scribing is it gives you this chance. You just kind of get got to get through like that first period of scribing, especially if you have no medical background like me. Um, but it was a good experience. And so, yeah, I scribed in the ER and in psych. And then that was beginning of 2018 all the way up until August, August, July ish, 20. 19 so this past year where i started covering shifts in the pediatric er so it was all through the same company same hospital but i got to work in psych adult er and pediatric er which was awesome you know if you're a scribe and you get a chance to scribe in other units but within the same company so you don't really have to do anything besides go scribe in the other specialty do it like it's only going to be good for your application and for your own knowledge um pediatrics is something i'm kind of interested in so that was a great opportunity and so I eventually had all that experience and whatnot, and I liked it, but then I got accepted into med school early September of 2019, and so I'm like, all right, I have this gap, and now it's like, I don't need that same experience, and you know, not gonna lie, the pay, depending on where you scribe, the pay is not good. No one, no one gets paid amazing as a scribe, and that was a huge thing for me. I felt, you know, Full transparency, I started making $8.25 an hour for the first 400 hours. Then I got moved up to $10.25 an hour after 400 hours. And then I got like a raise to $10.50 an hour. And that's not a lot at all. And so I was like, man, I can't imagine making $10.50 an hour for the next year while I wait to go to med school. And it was kind of disappointing because me personally, I felt like I was able to flex between adult ER psychiatry and you know pediatric ER and I felt like very useful as a scribe in that sense and it just felt like I wasn't being very compensated for you know the specialties I could scribe between and this was all with Scribe America full full transparency I mean it's not that big of a deal I just felt like I was there for almost two years scribing between three different specialties wasn't getting paid very much and so I was like you know I'm accepting to med school I don't need, I'm not gonna be logging any more of these hours on an application or anything. I decided it was time for a change. And so I found uh, ad posting for this outpatient oncology clinic in September, 2019. And I have been scribing there ever since. I've been working intimately with one physician. Uh, he's a hematologist, oncologist, and it's different. It's outpatient, but it's still scribing, but it's outpatient. And the nice thing there is in the ER, I was scribing for many different providers. Psychiatry, I was scribing for one provider. Pediatric ER, I was scribing for many different providers. And then here in outpatient oncology, I'm scribing for one provider, which is awesome because you know you know their charts, you know how they like to do things, you get to learn a lot from them, you build a close bond. Granted, I don't need like a letter of recommendation from him or anything. I can't put any of it towards medical school because I've already gotten in, my applications were sent in early last summer. It doesn't make a difference, but in terms of experience, I'm definitely getting a different experience and now I might want to become an oncologist and I'm getting paid more because rather than being hired through a third party company like Scribe America, like I was before, I'm being hired directly through the physician. So, um, you know, that's something if you want to scribe, maybe look into, look into, can I scribe privately outpatient or scribe through a third party company who provides scribes for the hospital um, system. So I really like scribing outpatient. It's awesome. I like getting to build these relationships with patients. I like looking at our list for the day of patients who are coming into the clinic and recognizing names and knowing what's going on with their treatment. And you know, I've seen so much progression in so many patients. I've been scribing there for about three months now, three or four months. And it's awesome. Totally different perspective of medicine doing outpatient. And if you're going to be a scribe, I recommend that if you have the chance to switch specialties do it you know scribing is not the goal i don't want to be a scribe like I, it's just a means of getting the experience and getting to work closely with the people i want to be like 
but I don't want to be a scribe, right? Like my hand hurts, these hands hurt. I get finger cramps and it's just not the end goal, but I know how to put together a note. I know how to think of a patient from, you know, top down, I know to break it down. And I, you know, I when I think about patients, I think about their presentation, like I would be making a note, which can only benefit us because we're gonna become doctors and we're gonna have to do notes and we're gonna have to do patient charts. And so it's a really good way to kind of get into the medical field and to think and have that mindset because now I don't think I'm gonna struggle with making notes when I'm a provider because I just have, I've done thousands and thousands of them, which is awesome. So overall being a scribe, I've had a great experience. I've enjoyed it. I, you know, if I could just stop being a scribe, I would, but you know, I get to go to med school this year and it's all, a lot of it's because of scribing and I like it a lot because I get to learn so much, not because I type all day. So that's my experience with scribing. It's been a good time. Excited to start med school this year. If you want to become a scribe, you know, watch my, what is a medical scribe video, ask me questions about scribing and yeah, I'd be happy to help. But that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.